this is my review on Logan from 2017 in the comic that is based off of Old Man Logan. And this, this came out in 2008 supposedly, but uh, I, it, the internet could be wrong, probably, I don't know. Uh, so, I'm just doing whatever Google says it is what I'm talking about the, when it came out with uh, the comic. So, um... Old Man Logan, the comic, and Logan, uh, well, the stories play out very different, and, um, and the comic Wolverine is very passive-aggressive and refuses to fight until the third act of the comic after his friend Hawkeye gets gunned down and murdered and brutally. What? Wait, does this get being stuff? I can't remember how he dies, okay? Point is, um... And... Logan still doesn't pop out the claws, uh, actually. I don't think of it. Wait, he doesn't pop out the claws until... Uh... Until his, uh, family's killed after coming home from all this crazy stuff. And fights Bruce Banner as Hulk. Yeah, that's the weird thing about this comic, is Hulk's actually a villain in this world of Old Man Logan comic, which is strange and seems a bit like lazy writing instead of, you know, having a character that would make sense going against Wolverine, you get the Hulk and you make him a villain. And now you're a sympathetic villain. No, one-dimensional stereotype villain. Talk about lazy writing. That's kind of dumb. So he kills Hulk. And... You know... No longer hiding from who he is as Wolverine. That's Wolverine. And on that note, so, uh... Eh. I guess, I mean, Old Man Logan is a good comic. It's, I give it a 10 out of 10 reading the, the story. I just wish the Hulk wasn't the villain in that movie. I mean, in the story. So, because he's the villain, I... And, um, Hulk's not in the movie. I, he's in the comic, but he's not in the movie, and uh, I'm kind of grateful for that because I just wouldn't want to see Hulk as the villain. I don't like him seeing him in the comic as the villain, so uh, I'm glad they changed that. And uh, yeah, look, Old Man Logan is one of the times when I think the movie is actually better than the actual comic it's based off of. So, I give the movie a 10 out of 10. I'm going to talk about the plot now. Uh, Wolverine uh, stones upon this uh, nurse that is taking care of this of her daughter and trying to get over to Mexico City to uh, save Haven uh, over the border. So, that way they won't have to worry about the people that are hunting and trying to kill them. Wolverine... Wolg I said Wogan. Logan, I meant to say. Logan says no, he's not helping, even though they are willing to pay him lots of money. He still says no. Then changes shortly after uh, meeting up with the Professor X, who is now a. Um, Who is now a, uh, a kind of a crazy old man this, uh, in this point of life, and uh, can't con and can't use his immune abilities because uh, he's prone to have seizures if he does it. I guess so. He's prone to have seizures, so he's taking seizure medication, which dampens his his ability to use his powers, but also makes him kind of um, 
you know, zoned out a bit, I guess. Uh, as a side effect, probably a side effect, things will zone out at times. Or, I, you know, I'm not really sure what the side effect is, we do, because he's complaining that he gets zoned out when he's on the medicine. But, so, a bit of a continuity error there, you know? And, um, so Logan's taking, being his caregiver along with this guy called Callahan, who gets brutally murdered. Well, he doesn't get brutally murdered, he just dies in an explosion. Heroic sacrifice trying to save how about Logan and his kid. Uh, yeah, by the way, that kid I mentioned earlier, uh, turns out that's Logan's biological kid, cloned from Logan's DNA. So it's a clone, but it's also with his daughter, uh, X-23. It, she's called by the people trying to hunt her now. So, Logan seems to have trouble accepting X-23 as his daughter until the third act. Uh, once he's clinging on to life as his dying breath, he finally just embraces her as, as his daughter and once you know it, he's just dead next thing you know. And, um, uh, yeah, um, and the kids that, uh, that the, that, that, uh, the girl meets up with, that's part of the safe haven that, 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 that are going to, like, walk off and, and away from, uh, harm's way and just stay hitting, uh, that's their plan is, uh, going to go with the kids after saying goodbye to her, uh, dead old man, uh, uh, and, um, and I don't know why she reset the same dialogue she said that she saw from this old movie that she watched with Charles in the beginning of the movie earlier on, before Charles got murdered by, uh, X-24. Uh, Logan's clone, who is actually a identical clone of Logan, but his personality is X twenty four. Is basically he's kind of like a rabid dog. From what we can figure out from his personality, is he's like a rabid dog, basically, mind of one. And um. This ain't me guessing. That's what the 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 director of the com on the commentary said about that. Uh, what he had in mind for X twenty four for his personality and um, yeah. So yeah, um, and I see that covers the entire story. Uh, Logan re Logan uh, finds peace. Um, uh, and, um, and finds happiness and accepts uh, his daughter as his own, and then dies, and the well, end it sounds like they are in, uh, of this end with her, his daughter mourning her, uh, her father, right, now. uh, yeah, so, this gets a 10 out of 10, I say this movie does, Logan, and... I like this movie a very lot, a lot, and uh, subscribe, uh, like this video, and uh, goodbye.